I can't change oil on anything without making a mess. Oh my goodness. Good thing they make oil dry. We use a lot of that stuff. Organization. It's a quality I lack. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So, we got a few things to do today. I started changing the oil in the planetaries on the sprayer. That's what these things are called. They're planetary drives. They're basically just a gearbox with some gears that do some spinning and make the wheel go. So if you want to know how a planetary works, you're going to have to find another YouTube channel. But anyways, you need to change the oil on them once in a while, and we have yet to do that since we've had the sprayer. So I started draining the oil the other day. Thought they took 80, 90 gear oil, but they don't. They take 75, 140 synthetic. So I had to go get a bucket of oil. Needless to say, I couldn't finish the job. So I got oil now. We need to finish that. I also need to change oil in my pickup. And then when we get that done, we need to get this stuff out of here and bring the combine in the shop because it's getting inspected tomorrow. So I made this little cardboard chute thing to get it out away from the wheel. And this one worked pretty good. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. But this one, I'm not really sure what happened here. When I left, it was running into the bucket but now we've got a puddle of oil on the floor, so. I can't change oil on anything without making a mess. It's just not possible. We're gonna get on to filling these back up. So what I've gotta do is I gotta fill these two back up and then I'm gonna have to start the sprayer and move it around because I need to get this oil drain plug to the bottom. These back two, it just happened to work out that they were in the same spot so I could drain both of them at the same time. I'm gonna have to drain one at a time up there. I don't think I can jack it up and just spin one wheel at a time. I mean, maybe I could, but it's probably just gonna be easier to just move it around. So I need to stop talking. I wonder if I can reuse this tape. I guess I could try. There's that one, drain plug in. You don't want to make a mess, another mess, I should say. I need my wrench. Well, come on, there you go. Click, all right, there's that one. We need to take this one out to fill it. And then we need to take this guy out. What size are you? Nope, that's too small. That's too big. Of course, the one, I'm, the one I need, I'm missing. Figures. This should work. Ooh, that's tight. Dang. Got it. Anyways, didn't break my wrench. I was hoping they would send the oil in two and a half gallon jugs, but they sent a bucket. So I think what I'm gonna do is we've got a gallon like oil can thingy. I'm gonna fill that up and use that. It looks dirty on the outside, but it's clean on the inside, I promise. I just need to accept the fact that I'm gonna make a mess. So they make this pretty foolproof. You got oil drain, top, oil fill level with an arrow. So basically you just fill it up until the oil runs out of there a little bit, and then you got enough oil. It says it should take 3.6 quarts, so a little less than a gallon. So I guess we'll just go for it. You know what, I should grab a paper towel. Whoa, 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 easy. Maybe I should have grabbed more than one paper towel. This isn't working real great. It's uh, The spout doesn't really fit in the hole. 
And now that I got to tilt it up so much, it's kind of spilling off the bottom. Let's see what we can do here. I'll just kind of bend it. I might have to find a new method of funneling this oil. Oh, that's empty. Guess I need a little bit more. Oh man, oh, there, there it is. She's full. Got one done. Now just rinse and repeat, I guess. Fun stuff. Back to a change. Just gotta roll this one forward and work on this one next. Get that oil drained to the bottom. So, start this thing up. Roll it forward a little bit. Knock this job out real quick. one loose that way it'll vent a little bit all right I have to hammer it so this probably isn't the best way to break things loose but it works all right well that's not working Probably should have broke it loose before I've got my little chute on here. There we go. Hear that oil? So this oil is definitely darker than the stuff I'm replacing it with. And it's a little sparkly, which is normal, but I don't see any big chunks which is a good thing, so. The three that I've changed so far look like they're in pretty good shape. Front one's draining, while I wait on that, I'm gonna drop the oil in my pickup. Engine's still in there, that's good. make another mess. Yep, told ya. Oh, good thing they make oil dry. We use a lot of that stuff. All right, so I just found something weird. Now, I never leave my truck sitting around with the hood open. It's, the hood's always shut unless I'm changing the oil or checking the oil or whatever. But there's cat prints all over the top of the engine. At least I, I think it's cat. Something has been crawling around in my engine compartment. Hope they didn't chew anything up. That's really weird. All right, we're gonna let things drain. Let's go see what dad's up to. We just got the battery charger. Sounds like the 4320 has a dead battery. Shocker. We probably should put new batteries in it. It's a top secret project.
combines out of the shed. Probably finish up this hub. Yeah, it looks like it's done dripping, so finish that up real quick. That one's full. Hello from underneath my truck. I'm gonna get this oil filter off, or at least attempt to. Which way do I gotta go here? This way. Well, it just doesn't wanna come off of there. dripping all right don't drop it in the oil and splash it in your face that would not be fun man this thing's slippery normally I poke a hole in the bottom of the filters and drain the oil out but I just didn't really think about it today I guess I remembered the oil but I did not remember the filter so I gotta go home and get an oil filter. Ah, organization, it's a quality I lack. All right, let's go get the oil filter. Normally I change my oil at home and then I have everything there, but I just decided since I'm out here, I'd change it here and I forgot the filter. And we're back. Got the filter, put some oil on the gasket, tight. Shoot, I should have grabbed the drain plug. Yeah. a couple spots. And it was on the edge of the, the right side, on the east side, and they had the wheels of the, the six by six running on the center where it was kind of hooked up. This truck holds six quarts, so here's the sixth. Let that drain a little bit. Clean up my stinking mess. Looks good. Set this. Start it up, check for leaks. Got oil pressure, that's good. Don't see any leaks. That job's done. Dad finished up the last hub on the sprayer. Now I got another mess to clean up. I just, I just can't do anything with oil without spilling it everywhere. Easy. Alright, 
All right, now we can get this sprayer out of here and get the combine in. Market break. thing to feel while I'm moving it around. Might be able to do some spraying in a couple days, I'm not sure. We got a little over an inch, about, well, between an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half of rain a couple days ago, so we haven't been able to spray for a couple days we got about 60 acres of corn left that we could spray that's big enough and then the last planting about 150 acres that corn's not quite big enough yet to spray so i'm thinking by friday saturday maybe we could get back in the field so like i said we got a guy coming out to inspect the combine he's from our local dealer hw or aaron's hogan walker their john deere dealer he's going to come out inspect this thing look over all the belts bearings pulleys chains all that stuff he knows what to look for better than we do i mean we could inspect it but we'd probably miss something one thing we noticed already that needs to be fixed i'll show you the floor on our feeder house right here got a chunk missing right here and then it's kind of tore up back there and over on this side so that's gonna be a pretty big job I would assume change that over so we want to get this thing ready to go because wheat is gonna be ready to cut towards the end of the month so just want to make sure this thing's good to go and not have any trouble with it all right that's it for this video got a few things done so I guess we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching